Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Tuesday led a ceremony on the Day of Defenders of Ukraine to honor the country's military. During his address, he described the soldiers fighting in the military as people of great courage who are unbreakable and brave in defending Ukraine. Today is a great day. The Day of Defenders of Ukraine. Your day. The day of those who make tomorrow possible. Thanks to whom Ukraine exists, and we are standing here, on our land, in our capital, under our flags. Thanks to whom life will prevail, said Zelensky. The president also handed out awards to members of the military. A minute of silence was then observed across the country to pay respect to those who had died fighting for Ukraine. Zelensky. Слава Україні! Сьогодні великий день. День захисників і захисниць України. Ваш день. День тих, завдяки кому настає завтра. Завдяки кому є Україна. А ми стоїмо тут, на своїй землі, у своїй столиці, під своїми прапорами. Завдяки кому життя переможе. Завдяки вам. Незламні та хоробрі люди великої відваги, які роблять велику справу. Захищають Україну. Recently released drone footage captured by Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade shows destruction in the eastern Ukrainian town of Volodar. Ukrainian forces are under severe pressure in the town, one of a belt of strongholds in the Donetsk region which, along with Luhansk, makes up the partly occupied Donbass. Russian forces are obliterating Volodar with glide bombs, while infantry units advance on the flanks in a bid to encircle the town according to Andriy Kovalenko, head of Ukraine Center for Combating Disinformation of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine. A crisis unfolded in western North Carolina as officials rushed to get more water, food and other supplies to flood-stricken areas without power and cellular service Monday, three days after Hurricane Helene ripped across the U.S. southeast. The death toll from the storm approached 100. At least 94 people across several states were killed. A North Carolina county that includes the mountain city of Asheville reported 30 people killed. Video footage showed Lake Lure in Rutherford County filled with wooden debris. Supplies were being airlifted to the region around the isolated city of Asheville. Buncombe County Manager Avril Pinder pledged that she would have food and water to the city by Monday. 